Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to design the beam by finding out its depth and width. So I will explain this lecture with the help of an example so it will be easy to understand. So here we have two beams. Here one is a simply supported beam and the another one is a cantilever beam. So it is a simply supported beam because one is here is a hinge support and roller support and here is a fixed support here provided only at one end while the other end is free so we call it cantilever beam. The length of both beam is 6 meter so we have to find out that what is the depth and width for these two types of the beam. So I will find out the depth and width of this beam by using the ACI code ACI American Concrete Institute 31814 so it states that if there is a simply supported beam, for example, this one, which is a first beam, so you can find the minimum depth of the beam equal to the L by 16. So what is L? L is the length of the beam, which is 6 meter in this case. So here, the minimum depth of the beam will be equal to the L is 6 here. So we will put 6 divided by 16. So we got here 0 0.375 meter. If you multiply this with the thousand, so we will get our depth in millimeter. So it will become 0 0.375 multiplied with the thousand. So it will become 375 millimeter. So the minimum depth for this beam should be equal to the 375 millimeter. Now what about the width of the beam? So you can find the minimum width for this beam equal to the depth divided by so D divided by 1.5. So depth divided by 1.5. Now the depth is known to us. It is 375 millimeter. 375 divided by 1.5. So width, minimum width of the beam comes out to be 250 millimeter. So this is the width of the beam. So minimum width will be equal to the, this is the width. This is the width of the beam and this is the depth of the beam. So the width will be equal to the 250 millimeter. So this is the minimum requirement for the course for the depth and width when there is a simply supported beam. Now when we have a cantilever beam, this one, the second one, so the ACI states, the similar American Concrete Institute states, so you can find the depth of the beam by a different formula that is equal to the L divided by 8. Now L is again the length of the beam, so here L is 6 meter divide by 8 so we got here 0 0.75 meter if you multiply this with the thousand so we'll get the minimum depth in millimeter it comes out to be 750 millimeter so this is the depth of the beam this one so d depth of the beam equal to the 750 millimeter now similarly what is the width of this beam w so we can find out the width of this beam by similar formula which we use for the simply supported beam d divided by 1.5 now d is the depth of the beam we know that the depth of the beam is 750 millimeter divided by 1.5 so we got the minimum width of the beam equal to the 500 millimeter so minimum width comes out to be 500 millimeter so we find out the minimum depth and width of the beam for a cantilever beam which are different from that of the simply supported beam. Why? Because codes provide different formulas for the simply supported beam and for the cantilever beam. This one is for simply supported beam and this one is for the cantilever beam to find out the depth. While for the width, the formula remains the same for both kind of the beam. Similarly, for continuous beam, for overhanging beam, and for other types of the beam, there are different formulas provided by the codes. But these two are mostly used. That's why I tried to explain that how we can find out the depth and width of the beam by using the ACI codes. I hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.